வணக்கம் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் டிசைஃபர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் எஜிப்ஷியன் ஹீரோகிரஃபிக்ஸ் பை கிராக்கிங் த சேக்ரெட் ஹிடன் கோட் டேட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் சிக்ஸ் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ரிலீஸ் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் எஜிப்ஷியன் ஹீரோகிரஃபிக்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ரெக்கார்டட் ஹீரோகிரஃபிக்ஸ் இஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் த டோம் ஆஃப் மேனஸ் அரவுண்ட் த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் பிசி ஸோ இட்ஸ் ஏஜ் இஸ் மினிமம் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் இயர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் நவ் ஹஸ் எ ரிட்டன் லாங்குவேஜ் நெக்ஸ்ட் லாங்குவேஜ் ஃபவுண்ட் இஸ் ஹெராட்டிக் ஹெராட்டிக் இஸ் கர்சிவ் ரைட்டிங் சிஸ்டம் it uses the shapes of hieroglyphics in cursive form next language found is demotic demotic is a language introduced in 650 bc which is next easy form of cursive writing which replaces hieratic writing next language developed is coptic coptic language is developed with 24 greek letters and some seven signs from demotic of which sounds greek do not have an important note the first transformation in pronunciation in that language that had 1000 signs is now restricted to 31 letters and so the same old phonetic sounds and pronunciations cannot be done for sure coptic language is started from 2000 bc and in use till 1700 cc coptic flourishes as a language from 200 ce to 1300 ce as it is the official language of coptic orthodox church of alexandria and even followed by the church Coptic used 60% of the vocabulary from Demotic and 40% from Greek. We don't know the old Egyptian hieroglyphics language, the Hieratic language and the Demotic language spoken by them in 3200 BC till Young and Champollion discovery. Rosetta stone which is discovered in 1799 by Napoleon had same statement written in three languages. First is hieroglyphic, second is Demotic and third Greek. In 1820 Jean Francois Champollion and Thomas Young deciphered the hieroglyphic using the Rosetta stone by finding the similar names of kings in cartouches by comparing Greek and Demotic text so Champollion and Young has found phonetic sound without vowels please note it down Champollion and Young has found phonetic sound without vowel sound the nouns in Egyptian language found by Champollion and Young phonetic sound of hieroglyphic without vowel sound is found please note it down phonetic sound of hieroglyphic without vowel sound is found meaning of the hieroglyphic it is found unknown in egyptian language phonetic sound of hieroglyphic with vowel sound not known hidden meaning of the hieroglyphic not known egyptian language is told as a sacred language and so they have hidden the meaning of the real word in the hieroglyphics and given the clue in the meaning of the word given now we shall find the real meaning of the word and its phonetic sound with vowel sound of hieroglyphic we shall refer certain books godiner sign list list of hieroglyphic signs by alan godiner egyptian hieroglyphic dictionary by e a valis budge Mark Weigas Dictionary 2018 edition The Gods of the Egyptians by E A Valis Budge Ancient Egyptian a Linguistic Introduction by Antonio Loprino First we shall see the symbol G5 it is falcon its transliteration is H R W Hirwa Hirwa it is given as the falcon god horus cracking the real phonetic sound code 1 code 1 is a hieroglyphic it tells g5 name falcon code 2 code 2 is the meaning of the related word of hieroglyphics provided by godiner by this the meaning is draw see subdue take position code 3 Code 3 is the phonetic sound of hieroglyphic without vowel sound. It is H R W. Mark Weigas 2018 edition shows the meaning of G5 as draw, restrain, seize, subdue, take position. Now we shall see the code cracking formula. Code 1 is hieroglyphic. Code 2 is a meaning or related word of hieroglyphic provided by Gardiner. or ancient egyptian dictionary code 3 is phonetic value without vowel sound 
So in order to crack the real phonetic value with vowel sound, we have to find the word hidden in code 1 and code 2 and that word will mostly be close to code 3 phonetic value without vowel sound. Now we shall see the definitions of three codes. Code 1. Falcon is a bird. Code 2. The meaning given is draw, seize, subdue, take possession. Code 3. By incurring the code 1 and code 2, we come to know falcon is a bird which hunts. What does the falcon draw? What does the falcon seize? What does the falcon subdue? What does the falcon take possession? What does the falcon hunt? Let's think. Yes, the falcon hunts its prey. Prey in Tamil is known as Irai. Irai in Tamil is also known as God. Yes, it is Iraiva. Iraiva. Prey in Tamil language is Irai. Antonio Loprino's ancient Egyptian shows HRW the god Horus as Hirava. Hirava, which is close to this Iraiva. You can see the pictures of Falcon. In the obelisk, it is given on the top. The similar kind of writing is followed by Tamils even today. Before starting the writing, they use the God symbol at the top. Next, we shall see O1, which is house. The code 1 is house. Code 2, the meaning given is house, building, room, department, go forth, temple. Code 3, phonetic sound is PR, para, para. Let's see the definitions now. Code 1, the house is a living place. Let's see the definitions now. Code 1, the house is a living place which needs to be built. Code 2, meaning given as house, building, room, department, go forth, temple. By incurring from the code 1 and code 2, these four are buildings, house, building, room, department, or buildings. What is common in these buildings? We have to build walls in four sides. Build wall in four sides means nalu pakkam katta. In Tamil language, Nal Katta, Nal Kati means calendar. In Tamil, what does the calendar show? What will be issued? What will be made known to others? What will the temple house declare? Ask these questions. Yes, Nal Pakkam Katta, Nal Katta is Nal Kati. Nalkati means calendar in Tamil. What does the calendar shows? Yes, it shows the season, which means in Tamil Paruvam. Paruvam. Yes, the word is Paruvam. P R Paruva Paruva means season. Antonio Loprieno's ancient Egyptian book shows the house as Paruva. Parva, the pronunciation is very much similar. Next, we shall see about O29, wooden column. The code 1 is wooden column. It is wrongly understood as column, it is actually palmyra tuber. We shall see the definition in the next slide. Code 2, the meaning given is column great infant. Code 3, the sound given is A, 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 A. You can see the figure from the stella of Nefertiti Bet E15591. The figure is very much similar to the Palmyra tuber. You can see the photos below. Palmyra tuber before removing the skin. Palmyra tuber after removing the skin. Let's see the definitions of code 1, code 2 and code 3. Code 1, wooden column. It is wrongly understood as column. 
it is actually palmyra tuber code 2 the meaning given is column great infant code 3 by inquiring from the 1 and 2 we come to know palmyra tuber penetrates into the soil which is like digging the soil for analysis before constructing a bridge which is analysis analysis in tamil known as aya 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 removing the skin of palmyra tuber is also known as aya in tamil language column means tomb it sounds is similar to another word which is thung in tamil which is known as sleeping how does we sleep sound sleep sound sleep means ayarndu thunguvadu in tamil ayarndu ayar ayar it is similar to aya ayar ayarndu thunguvadu aya ayar infant is baby how does the baby sleep sound sleep sound sleep means ayarndu thunguvadu ayarndu thunguvadu great is the meaning given as analyst work is a great position now we shall see the word pharaoh for the word pharaoh they use two symbols the house of a symbol and the the symbol great they say great house for pharaoh in english you see the pronunciation given for pharaoh in egyptian it is parwaya parwaya yes pharaoh means parwaya parwaya in english means season analyst the one who analyzes the season pharaoh means season analyst word parliament might have originated from this word it reads parva aya white house might have originated based on this similarity after discovery of this language by 1820 c great house thank you in the next video we shall see more hieroglyphics till then goodbye